In the previous video, we've seen how we may solve the shortest path problem using a dynamic programming approach. Now, in this video, let's talk about the computational efficiency of dynamic programming. So if we recall the example from the previous video, we may see the efficiency of dynamic programming calculation. For example, if we are in stage 2 and we begin um, day 2 in city 2 Los Angeles, and then we have these three options, let's say we want to calculate the distance from Columbus to Los Angeles um, if we decide from Columbus going to Kansas City. So in this case, we take the sum of the distance from Columbus to Kansas City plus F35. F35 has taken care of two options from 5 to 8 and 5 to 9. And then it has told us that the better options would be from um, CD5 going to CD8. So in other words, with this um, calculation here, we only explicitly calculate 2 to 5, 5 to 8, 8 to 10. We do not explicitly calculate another option, 2 to 5, 5 to 9, 9 to 10, because we already know that if we start day 3 in CD5, 5 to 8 to 10 is the better options. So we do not explicitly calculate this again, because we know that 5 to 9 is the worst option. Okay, so um, what I'd like to say is that the efficiency here appears based on the fact that some of the possible paths are no longer calculated when we know that uh, that is the worst option to do. So here, for example, we know that from Kansas City, the better option will be going to Denver instead of going to San Antonio. So here we only use uh, the distance from Kansas City to Denver and then finally to reach Los Angeles, which is 1,640. You may say that why don't we just list all the possible paths and then calculate the distance and then pick one with the smallest distance. Well, that is called explicit enumeration. And that is possible if the problem is small. But if you have a problem, let's say with 27 nodes like this, then it's kind of impossible to do that because um, we have five uh, to the power of five possible paths. So um, one times five times five times five times five times five and times one. So that is five to the power of five. And then for each path, we will perform five addition operations. So let's say we take this path here. You add C1 to plus C27 plus C712 plus C1217 plus C1722 and then plus uh, C2227. So for each path, we have seven pluses here. So we perform five addition operations. So in total, we have this many operations to do, 15,625 operations. On the other hand, if we use dynamic programming, from stage six to stage seven, there is no addition because um, you just take this um, the length of the distance from one node to node 27. So no adding anything. And then from stage 5 to stage 6, we have 5 addition operations for each node because um, one node can go to another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then remember, you need to add this distance with the distance from there to the final node. So we have five addition operations for each node, and there are five nodes in this stage. So we uh, do 25 operations, five times five. And then it's the same for stage four to five, two to, um, sorry, three to four, and then two to three. 
And then finally, from stage one to stage two, we have five addition operations because you take the distance of this plus the distance from two to 27. The distance from one to three plus the distance from three to 27. So in total, we only have 105 operations, which is a very significantly smaller number than doing explicit enumeration. Also, when we um, talk about how much compare, how many comparisons we need to make, dynamic programming is more efficient. So if we do explicit enumeration, we have five to the power of five possible paths and then to find the best paths we need to compare uh, 5 to the power of 5 minus 1 because we compare the first path to the second and then the better one among them with the third and then the better one with the fourth and so on that's why we have minus 1 here so we need to do 3124 comparisons for dynamic programming stage 6 to 7 there is no comparison from stage 5 to 6 we need to do four comparison for each node because we need uh, because we have five possible decisions and then we compare these five decisions and take the smallest one same thing for stage um, 4 to 5 3 to 4 2 to 3 and finally uh, from stage 1 to 2 we also have four comparisons we take the sum of all the comparisons we need to do and then the total is that we need to only do 84 operations of comparing one to the other which is again significantly smaller than doing explicit enumeration so this should convince you that dynamic programming it is much more efficient than performing explicit enumeration